Good morning, it's about five to 10 on Wednesday morning and guess what's just turned up early? My Iceland shopping that I ordered only yesterday. It's just like a little kind of topper upper to be honest. So that said, there looks like there's quite a lot there. I'd been editing till about midnight last night so I had about an extra hour just watching some TV before I went to bed. Well, YouTube videos and uh, I literally just woke up. So this is what we got in the way of frozen food. We got some Greg's mini sausage rolls as he's already eaten most of the ones that I bought her the other day. Cheese and onion bakes to replace the ones me and Ibi ate. Three lots of frozen fish. So there's three packets of four for £10. For a pound a bag, I got two bags of sliced frozen mushrooms. I wanted to try for the first time some frozen chopped ginger. Never had it before, but I do eat a lot of ginger in cooking, so I thought I'd give that a go. And for one pound, a big bag of mixed peppers. Here's my fresh veg and some eggs. So I got six free range eggs, six peppers, some large vine tomatoes, onions, garlic, and some leeks. I was wondering where the rest was. It's in here, look. Broccoli. Mushrooms. Now, I thought I ordered courgettes. Did they turn up? Maybe they didn't. Uh, okay, courgettes didn't turn up. Here's the next lot. I got a great big bottle of Vimto. That's the sugar-free one. That'll keep us going. Wholemeal bread. Now, this isn't actually for me. This is for Isabel and IB. I can't eat wholemeal bread. I don't know. I should be able to. I wish I could because I know it's healthier for you. But it kind of irritates my mouth as it goes in and then it gives me heartburn as I swallow it and I just don't feel right afterwards. Cream eggs. Two. They were, like, on offer. They weren't on offer much. I think it was £4 for 10 but they're a lockdown treat. Two multi-packs of ready sorted crisps, some white rice, cheapy noodles, because they're just handy to have in the cupboard. They're beef flavored, but I'm pretty sure they're vegetarian. I did check the ingredients online. Somerset Brie, loads of crumpets. I'll probably freeze some of those when I've got a bit of room in the freezer. Two lots of bread rolls. For some reason, they sent us a mix and match, but I did order two lots of tiger rolls. Last of all, I've got these drinks for Isabel. Two mango juice drinks. They're not mango juice, but you know, they're mango themed. <laughs> and two orange juices, which are actually juices. I'm gonna have my first thing in the morning cup of tea now. Wake up for 10 minutes or so, and then I'm gonna crack on with finishing off the vlog that I filmed yesterday. I haven't even opened the curtains yet, but look, there was just a knock on the door. I was just gonna, you know, have a bit of chill out for 10 minutes and here's my new router so wow it's all go here today a router unboxing Ooh. look at this oh start here reminds me of alice in wonderland like eat me you know oh gosh I'll, I'll look at this later, I think, when I've got a bit more time. Well, I mean, I've got time now, it's just I want to get the vlog up. But right now I need a cup of tea and some breakfast. I'm running a bath now. I just finished my vlog, so that is exporting. And while that is exporting, I'm going to have a quick bath. Oh, and I just remembered I was going to check if the mirrors were going to steam up or not. I buffed them all with like a big handful of toilet roll, actually, because I was a bit lazy, didn't go and get kitchen towel. If you didn't watch yesterday's vlog, I'm doing an experiment. I've rubbed hand soap, like a watery hand soapy solution all over the mirrors in the bathroom to see if they steam up or not. I have a theory and we'll see what happens today. I've just got out of the bath and I've come back to show you the windows. Windows? Mirrors, as you can see, you can still see through them, but they are steamed up, definitely, look. Look at the difference. Oh, wait, I'm not sure if it's coming out on camera. No, they are definitely steamed up a bit, but not anywhere near as much as usual. This one was closer. Yeah, you can see that steamed up, can't you? If I do that, it clears. The windows are way, way more steamed up. So it's definitely made a difference, but it's not been completely foolproof. So next time I shall try my original suggestion that was made to me, which was a bit of shaving foam. I'm just, um, yeah, I'm gonna get dressed. <laughs> I've gone all red and blotchy again. Look, not a good look. <laughs> Most YouTubers are like, spend their lives trying to look good on camera. I've got something happening. I think what it is, is I think it's the moisturizer I use. If I use it straight away after getting out of a bath, like when my face is hot or if I've just blow dried my hair, like if my skin is hot and I use the moisturizer, I think that's what it is. I think, because normally when I put it on, it doesn't do it. 
I was just drying my hair and then I realised what I did wrong with these mirrors. I used like a watered down solution with the hand soap. What I needed was to use it on a dry cloth neat and then buff it. Because that's what I've been doing with my glasses. I haven't been using a wet cloth, I've been using a dry cloth. I'll try that next time. It's five past three and I've literally just got the vlog up for tonight. And my darling daughter has washed up for me. Yay! She's just cooked herself some lunch so the oven is still hot. She's currently feasting on sausage rolls but she's promised me she's going to follow it up with some salad. Now speaking of food, I need to eat something. I'm starving. I am going to have a very random lunch indeed. There was a tiny bit of mashed potato left, like enough for half a serving or something. So I've added a whole tin of chickpeas and a bit of milk to loosen it up a bit because it was a bit stiff. And I'm going to season it and put in a bit more grated cheese probably. And that's what my lunch is going to be, I know. But I think I shall find it strangely nice. God, oh, it's all go here, innit? Look, my chair's arrived. I didn't think that was coming till next week. I'm delighted. So I've got three packages to open and sort out now. Well, there's my bowl of comforting stodge with a big dollop of lime pickle on the side. It is now five o'clock in the evening. I got halfway through my lunch. No, actually, that's not true. I got most of the way through my lunch, couldn't finish it, got incredibly tired and decided to have a 20 minute nap, which turned into an hour. But I'm up now and I am going to go and practice my flute in the cellar. But I'm going to carry on with what I was doing yesterday, just trying to clear my chest by doing lots of scales and long notes. And I think that's what I'm aiming to do today rather than tunes and repertoire and stuff. And hopefully after that I have time to set up the new sim in my phone and also get the new router up and running. And also hopefully there's time to get my new chair set up in the office. I might be being a bit ambitious because obviously I've got a fit cooking dinner in at some point and it's already five o'clock. But anyway, I shall get done what I can. <laughs> might sound really 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 boring to anybody listening but to me it sounds lovely because I'm imagining some very nice things going along with it that just oh it's very nice <laughs> in my imagination got a whole chord progression and nice little harps playing I'm finished I've made my ears ring again I think I should put some ear defenders on when I'm doing that it's the high notes so don't film me doing the high notes but they can get quite excruciating I have now emerged from flute cave and I'm feeling quite good and quite energized and do you know I really feel like those long notes do me a lot of good and I think for therapeutic reasons if nothing else I'm going to keep doing them for a while I definitely felt better yesterday after doing them and I feel good today so yeah that's good This is the next thing I'm gonna deal with today. My new chair for my little office space. I ordered this absolutely ages ago. Gonna have to assemble it, well obviously. Wheels, quite a lot of wheels. Box of something. A nice cushiony seat. A nice cushiony headrest, backrest, something. And one of those. An uppy downy thingy with up and down written on it. Whoops, I didn't want to stay that way around. And some cardboard. Right, where's the instructions then? I don't see any. It's okay, I found them, they're here. I've now got all the bits out of the packaging and the instructions out as well. I'll leave a link to this particular chair in the description just in case anybody's interested. Give me a while. I am going to go about assembling this thing. I wonder how long it'll take me. Number one. Oh, you can't see me. Number one. Push all five casters into the underside of the base. 
Oh, it means like really jam it in hard, okay. I presume. Oh, you don't have to jam it that hard actually. Insert the gas lift. What the heck is the gas lift? Apparently this is the gas lift. Oh, I took the bits off it, look. It reminded me a bit of um, stacking cups, you know, for toddlers. Okay, I'm confused, right, I think that goes in there. And then that, like that, I think. Okay, right, got that. I love doing this, it's like Lego, but you get real things at the end of it. Not just a, a beautiful ornament that eventually has to be taken apart. Oh, I'm gonna need a, a screwdriver. Oh no, I just need an Allen key. I, did, I think I might've got a drill attachment for this, but really there's only a couple. I can't be bothered to go and get them. Right, where do I put them? On the top of it, I presume, right. Washer, and then one of these springy things. It's called a spring washer. Oh, that screws in there. And then there's four of those to do. It's turning into DIY with Imo. That wasn't what I was expecting to do today. I'm glad is he's not hungry. Because it means I get a bit more time. Oh, it's done like that noise. I've done that, I'm onto the backrest now. There's an arrow pointing up. Very handy, little arrow there. Fitting the backrest, use bolts A. That'll be those. Ooh, uh. <laughs> no, it's fine. Oh, okay, right, that goes there. What about the cover? I got a bit confused with that one, but I managed it in the end. I've now got these three bits, so I think the next bit should be quite plain sailing. I've got to do that screwy thing there. I think that's it. It looks like it's got to come off. Yeah, that bit has got to go in there. See where that big elongated slit is. And then that will connect to it and screw in. Bit of an awkward angle. There we are, I'll use the bed. I can't move the camera to get a better angle because my hands are a bit full. Oh, I'll try, hang on. <laughs> is the camera just going to fall off the bed? That's the question. Keeping an eye on it. Okay, I think it's starting to look quite chairish. One last thing to do and that's stick it all together, really. Oh, surely I've got to attach it in some way though. Can't just plonk it on, can I? Yeah, that's it. I think it's it's clicked into place. Oh, so exciting! Okay, will it work? Oh, that's going down. Ooh. wax legs on existing chair I just can't stop it's got wheels it's not going to wheel very well on my carpet it's not really the most suitable flooring for it but you know you see the thing is with that chair it was just too low and I was having to sit on both my pillows at once <laughs> to be able to see the upper part of this monitor here and I literally noticed there was a black line across my frame on an edited video. I just hadn't seen it. It was too high. It was, I thought it was just the top of the surround because the uh, the software's like, it's in dark mode anyway. Hey, it's coming together, isn't it? My workstation. Lovely. I can take that dining room chair back now to join the others and discard all the packaging. There's a load out there in the hall too. Next thing I'm going to do now, I've just been putting the recycling out by the way, but the next thing I'm going to do is get this new sim into this new second-hand phone, my upgrade from my current one, and uh, yeah, see if I can get that operational before I get dinner on. I'm having a spot of bother transferring the sims over. It's saying that the sim card I've installed on the iPhone is from a network provider that is not supported. Um, so I wonder if IB has unlocked this phone, because I'm with O2, it doesn't like my new sim. Now I'm deactivating my old sim, but I think I can get it in my old phone, it's okay. I'm sure I can get it unlocked anyway, I'll just have to take it down the market when things open up a bit. Well that was very unsatisfactory, though I must admit I'm enjoying my new chair! It'll only suit probably like petite people, like I'm, well, I don't know if I'm actually petite, but you know, probably not a great big strapping tall bloke would like this chair because it's quite small. But um, I love it, I really love it. Ah. Oh. 
Ooh, so like a proper office person now. Anyway, I need to go and cook Izzy's tea. I saw it on a vlog, somebody was doing a really simple spaghetti dish earlier and it's made me fancy something similar. So something simple and humble and just comforting. I'm gonna go and do that now. But if you've enjoyed this vlog, do give it a like. It really helps the channel to grow. I so appreciate it. If you're new here and you would like to follow more of our story, do hit the subscribe button down there to follow more of our story and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!